Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Diary of a Ghost Hunter. And we've got a load of stuff to tell you this week. We've got some changes coming up at Maitland Jail. Is it good or is it bad? How many days is it now till we go to Ireland and England? We've had a workshop. How did it go? Uh, we've been training the team, and that's been um, fun to say the least. And we've had some inquiries about one of our journeys overseas that people would like to come on with us. If you want to know more, stay tuned. Welcome to the Diary of a Ghost Hunter podcast with your frightfully good hosts and paranormal investigators, Anne and Renata. Join the chaos weekly as we tell you what has inspired us, what cases we're investigating, what is driving us round the twist, and the true horror of what goes on in the background of being a ghost hunter. This is a Frightfully Good production. Hello everyone and welcome back to the uh, next episode of Diary of a Ghost Hunter and uh, we've got a jam-packed episode for you starting off with some news that we received just yesterday about some changes coming through to Maitland City Council which means that that is going to come across to one of the places that we work at which is Maitland Jail. Yes, uh, they've had a big reshuffle at the uh, Maitland City Council and taken out a whole level of uh, management and people are being reassigned into different roles and uh, we have lost a few people mm. and very sadly someone very near and dear to our heart is leaving. Yeah. Yeah. We're a little bit gutted. We were actually meant to record this yesterday, but we were too distraught. <laughs> we just couldn't. We had to go and have a Chardonnay, a Cardonnay to recover. <laughs> yeah, and that's our dear, beautiful Mike. Mike has been with us for, geez, a year or so. I it's almost two years. Yeah, absolutely working to the point of, you know, virtually letting us do as much as we could possibly do. Well, he in. actually inspired us inspired us to be more creative and to come up with more ideas and yeah. pushed us a little bit to uh, see what we could sort of do to yeah. step out of our comfort zone and provide experiences at the jail for uh, the people who come to the jail. So uh, we're going to be lost without you. We don't know what we're going to do. I have offered him a place as a volunteer on the team. <laughs> He's good with the flashlight apparently. Yes. So... Um, and, just, and his yellow yellow vest. As long as he's got his yellow vest yeah, on. He'll be fine. As long as he's got his yellow vest, he'll be fine. We but seriously, Mike, whatever you do next, we wish you all the best because I know whatever it is, it will be a huge success. The jail has grown so much with your yeah. ideas and your enthusiasm and your willingness to step out of the, the norm and yeah. do something to bring the world and the eyes to Maitland Jail. We will miss you. We will miss you. Yeah, and that means that our our tours and the way we present things at the jail may change. We don't know. We don't know. We may don't, all stay the same. Yeah, we don't know what... May improve. We, don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't know if anyone's going to come in on a, a level that will be in charge of the jail and whether they will be at the jail doing these things. We don't know. It's Or maybe days. at the council or whatever. Yeah. But it does mean that it's a little bit of a scary time for us uh we we have no doubts with the the product that we we do at the jail is one of oh, the best in class. australia first one of the best class. in australia saying it ourselves but it really is uh so we know that it's very popular and it's always selling out but it just when there's changes you you do get a little bit worried especially when you get as old as us yes Yes. Yeah. And we've been through so many changes over the last 12 months. We've had like, enough of changes. What? Again? <laughs> oh, what, another one? Okay, oh, roll over goodness. next. <laughs> uh, so, no. yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be an interesting uh, 12 months mm -hmm. to see what happens. I'm so. looking forward to it. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing what the new... Um, what the new team brings to the jail and to uh, working with us. Mm. Uh, all right, so on to more exciting things than poor old Mike. Good, you're going to have to go pack the shelves at Coles, Mike. Um, we, it's only 
How many days to forty? Week? Forty. Well, it's actually thirty-nine today. Thirty-nine days. Because, oh. or it, mm, very in a couple of hours, it'll be thirty-nine. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's yeah, we're getting really excited about it, and uh, we have a few things that we've planned beforehand and afterwards. So we're having an extended stay because you know once you pay so much money to go get over there, you may as well do uh, as much as you can. So we have a couple of places, as we've mentioned before, that we. We're going to investigate but our beautiful Irish correspondent Danielle uh, is still busy organizing one or two spots for us good on you Danielle and uh, we cannot wait to do some investigations with some of the people that are overseas doing investigations but it's puka paranormal that are organizing all of this for us yeah. and big shout out and congratulations to Danielle for becoming part of the team about time girlfriend you are a catch for any team. That's all I can say. You've been well trained. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wish you were closer. Yes, but we've we've got um, a week with them uh, once we finish our uh, guided tour that we are leading through Ireland with our um, beautiful people that are going to join us on the bus yes. and sing when Irish eyes are smiling. No, probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, th so that's coming up. We've got the England part organised. We're just booking in a few little bits and pieces. My God, the cost of car hire in Ireland is crazy. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm scratching my microphone there. Um, yeah, so next bit of news. Yeah, we just did a workshop this weekend mm. uh, and it was a work workshop on psychic protection. Mm-hmm. Ah, which turned out to be really good. We, yes, we, it was. <laughs> we, we had a, 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 a look. We really couldn't have packed any more people in there. I think we could have got a few more people in. We were up to about twenty in there. I think just a couple more bodies we yeah. could do. Yeah. And, but uh, um, yeah, it was. We had lots of varieties of people there because we went around and asked everyone why did they book this? Why did they come? And some of them actually said we don't know why we're here. We were just drawn to it and it's something that interests us. And I thought, wow, that's that's really quite interesting. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so um, it was good. We really talked about psychic protection to do with the paranormal and ghost hunting but also psychic protection in your day-to-day -day life. And uh, I think we gave them a pretty good all-round view. And then uh, we took them into the jail and they got to do a, a little bit of hands-on stuff. So we, we tested them out a little bit on their sense of feeling okay within the jail and sensing different energies and whether they felt safe in certain areas or not. And then we did a lot of feedback stuff and uh, it was... Uh, it, it, was three hours. It was a big, big afternoon yeah. on one of the hottest days that we've had. But we did enjoy <laughs> our one air conditioned room, yes, which we, we left the door open. So all of that cold air flowed downstairs. So we had the whole bottom level that was cool as well. It was delicious, yes, it was but it was very hot outside. Uh, I, a lot of people really got a lot out of that, particularly when they're looking at the fact that it's not just ghosts and paranormal investigation. It's the living. Yeah. But we're going to run an online course on this one. So look out for that. I'm heading off on my cruise on Saturday with the family. I've got to go and do some mundane family stuff. Uh, and I'll be back in a week. So we'll look at finding a date that we can do that. And that will probably have to be over two nights, I'd say. Mm. Maybe three. We'll see. We'll see. Um, if February, for sure. It'll be in February. Before, before, before we because we were away for the whole of March, so yes. it has to be. <laughs> yeah. So we will put something up shortly uh, for you, and uh, yeah, please. But I think it was really great how we could take them into the jail. That oh. was quite unique because yeah. you can learn about a lot of that stuff, but to take them into the jail and put them into those stressful situations, they then understood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, we mm. have also been... Sorry, did you need to say something yeah, else Yeah, I was just going to say that if you would like a particular subject for us to teach about uh, or, you know, attend a workshop either in person or on online because we know that a lot of you uh, are from overseas. Obviously, you can't come and be in person, but we can do lots of really great workshops online. Please send us a message. Uh, let us know what interests you and uh, we'll provide a workshop. Now, we do have another workshop coming up soon. I was just trying to 
spot the day that we'd put it on for. Uh, and that is using modern technology to communicate to the other side. So instrumental transcommunication, and we're going to be doing that at the jail again. We're going to have lots of hands on. There will be the whole historical component and why we think it does what it does and how to do it properly, how to analyse it. But we'll also be going into the jail yet again with the spirit boxes and trying to do some sessions and see how people go. Yeah, and um, I reckon we'll do a little bit with apps as well, just for fun. Yeah. And we're going to test some of the apps in real time. Let's do a test on okay. like three or four of the different apps that are really, really popular and see what works. I was trying to look mm. it up on here, but I just can't see it I think on it's my in phone. April. Yeah, it would be in April sometime. But look up on the Maitland Jail website. We'll also have that up on our uh, Frightfully Good pages as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've not only been doing workshops, we've been hooking into the new year with enthusiasm. We've been doing some team training as well. We have lots of new people that have come on board and we sort of also realised that uh, maybe even some of the people who have been there for a while may be doing things slightly different uh, each wing. So we thought let's Let's do refreshers for everyone and train up all the new people. And the team's been asking for this for ages and we just haven't been able to uh, firstly find the place to do it and then uh, find the time to do it because last year was just chaos. It was chaos. So we've now started doing that on um, Friday nights, I think it is, or Saturday nights before we do one of the experiences at Maitland Jail. Mm hmm so um, we've done, what did we do? Um, we, done, we did the spirit boxes, uh, yes. the Estes method, how to do all that properly. Um, we also talked to them how to engage people and work with them and bring them out of their shell, uh, the do's and the don'ts, the things that we believe as a, a leaders what we would like the, the public to learn. What else is there? Mm, we've done dousing rods and uh, talking a little bit about uh, putting people into the experimental situations. So, you know, what to do if someone doesn't uh, want to be involved or uh, get scared. So some sort of some techniques uh, with the um, general public. Hmm. Yeah. And what, what I have found is that there are some people that seem to excel in certain areas and we can all as a team learn to do all the wings and all the experiments but there are some areas that people just seem to shine in and there are other people that it sort of feels a bit awkward so it's really interesting watching that develop and seeing what comes out yeah and there's been a few little surprises with our new volunteers that are coming up how awesome are they yeah. wow so enthusiastic, yeah. It's you've really, you've sort really of lifted good. our energy as well, which we really appreciate. Yeah. Uh, now, we've been asked uh, by a few people about Norfolk Island and uh, we have decided that we will probably do Norfolk Island early in 2025 and miss out on 2024 because we are travelling a bit this year and uh, the... Airfares for Norfolk are still really high. They're not pitch, pitching them low or lower. Well, there's no competition. Because, um, yeah, there's no competition. And it's really, really difficult to ask people to pay so much money to travel to Norfolk Island just for three days. Uh, so we're going to give it another um, 12 months to see how those that's prices that's okay, drop. Liz. <laughs> uh, and, and then we will definitely put a, a Norfolk Island on because we don't like being away yeah, look, Too long. Even, even if we can't put a Norfolk on, we'll go anyway. Yeah. Because we can't stay away. Yeah, Hello, is, Hooker Militia. How are you all doing? That is true. <laughs> so you'll, you'll see us soon. Absolutely. Yes, we've got um, a month in Ireland and England. We're away for the whole of March. We're actually from the 3rd of March to the 3rd of April. And then we have got a trip to Melbourne, which we're driving because um, we can't afford the airfares. <laughs> and that's going to be down there. We're working with another team down there as a collaboration. And then we drive back. Uh, and we are hoping to go to Adelaide. We we're going to use our airfares. But sadly, Virgin Australia 
shafted us on those ones, and we lost $1,900 in airfares. That's terrible. It is terrible. Uh, so we, we've sort of had to rethink that, and then we're hoping to do some local misadventures, like we've done with the Bush Ranger, Bush Ranger Hotel, which yeah. part two, that was meant to go up last night as well, but it was just a... We're just too traumatised. Uh, so I'll hopefully get that up for maybe tomorrow night because we're normally on on a Thursday night. So I'll have that up for tomorrow night. Um, and we, we want to do some more local trips and local filming and stories and things with Cousin Steve. But we're still trying to get Cousin Steve over to America with us for uh, early October. So if you'd like to shout us a cup of coffee or send a super sticker or anything like that, all the links will be in the description. And that is going towards getting Steve, Renata and myself to America to do some collaborations over there with some friends that we've already teamed up with. So that would be fun. Mm. We need Steve to come with us. So. Mm. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. Um, it's short and sweet. We've had um, some, yeah, some news that hasn't been nice this week. So um, I- I'm sure as uh, this one gets a rest and uh, when we come back, we'll have more, more stuff to Can tell I you. just say you need a rest too? Yeah, I need a rest. It'll come. At some point, when in we're in thirty-nine days, thirty-nine days, <laughs> thirty-nine days, I will have a rest. We get on the plane and we pass out, basically, and uh, that helps us sleep all the way over and there. And we don't talk. I've, no. We get on the plane and we just go. It's odd, and there's no point in talking. But we, we, we just... we're comfortable with it as well. No, that's right. I don't need to. Yeah, just, it's just uh, except chill. when the food comes out, because then we look at each other and go, yeah. <laughs> Or we make sure we get cocktails. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever you can get in economy yeah. class. Uh, but that's uh, but that's it for this week. Uh, thank you for being here. Share it around. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It goes up on YouTube and it goes up on our podcast as well. If you'd like to shout us something to say thank you, we'd appreciate it. But guys, just you, having you listen to this is a great help. So thank you all. We'll see you on the dark side. Ah, stay spooky and don't forget... Don't be a dickhead. No, don't. Bye. Bye.